Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second last video from my apartment here in LA. And uh, one more day and it's done. I'm actually gonna shoot two videos in the same clothes. So don't think I haven't taken a shower or something because I have, I just took a shower for you guys just so you won't have to smell me. But today we're gonna be doing Padha 3 of Ashlesha Nakshatra. As in what this video is about is what happens when your moon is in the sign of cancer yet in the nakshatra of ashlesha which is the later half of the cancer sign the nakshatra which is working behind the scenes of a zodiac sign this is why people of the same zodiac don't think like however even people of the same nakshatras don't think like why because of the fact each nakshatra is divided into four parts called the padhas and so what we're doing with like funneling down your padha kind of like a woman with a big ass and then like goes down like that you know what i'm saying so that's what this is about anyway so if you do not know where your moon is placed what nakshatra it's in what padha it's in for that check out the links here and check out my full astrological report including my books astrology conjunction and aspects of the speed of light including my new magazine on destiny and careers and at the same time on page two of the report you will see um, where exactly your moon is placed what padha it's in what nakshatra is in at the bottom and especially for people who are brand new to this um, option six here will definitely will help you all with all the planetary alignments so what is ashlesha nakshatra Ashlesha nakshatra is a nakshatra that, first of all, the symbolism of this nakshatra is the cross uh, with the snake wrapped around it, which is kind of like the symbol of the medical field. Because what happens is we are trying to get to the bottom of what the problem is, what the disease is. And so this is why it's a nakshatra that is in the sign of cancer, of nourishment and taking care of people giving your emotions, yet this is a very goal-oriented nakshatra. It's all about missions. It's all about going and swerving through and you, uh, emotionally connecting with people, but just moving on. That's what it's about. And most of the time people think, especially, you know, obviously people in India who know about this nakshatra, they have a wrong perception of this nakshatra. They think it's a very mean nakshatra. They're always out to just bite you and just move on. Meaning use you as emotionally, but move on. That's not the case. These people are simply born through their DNA born to have a goal all times yet they just love connecting with people emotionally and if they can accomplish their goal by connecting with you emotionally they will do that but as soon as the goal is accomplished they will move to a different goal that's all it's all about so this is what this is a very business oriented nakshatra this is a nakshatra that is um, all about setting a goal and achieving it you know and this is not more so uh, related to the medical field per se, but it's simply related to wanting to get to the bottom of things. If you set a goal, you get to the bottom of how to achieve that goal. However, this video is on Padha 1, um, Padha 3. And that's what we're going to discuss today. And I've already made a video on what moon is like in the sign of cancer. I've made a video of what moon is like in the nakshatra of uh, Ashlesha. So you can go watch those videos which are far more detailed than this description however this is simply for Padha 3 so so people in uh, Padha 3 of this nakshatra as you know the foundation which we established of the Ashlesha nakshatra meaning that they have always have a goal they always have some sort of an agenda to accomplish and they will use the emotions again emotionally connect with people to accomplish that agenda like any businessman would however the Pada three people, their agenda is all about social welfare and social reform. Their agenda is all about scientific thinking. How can I improve a certain thing through my thinking? How can I improve a certain thing scientifically? So these are the people you will find who might be scientists and they might be inventors. They might be the Elon Musks. They might be the Steve Jobs of their field because here, the mind is all about how I want to change societies. I don't care how much money I make because their goal is that, look, once I do the right thing, the money will come to me. But this particular patha is about helping the poor come up in society, helping gathering everybody in a herd and saying, hey, I have the idea to, let's, to lift everybody up. Meaning instead of like what they're doing in, um, God, what is it, um, Utah, Colorado, 
where they're trying to get rid of every single homeless uh, person out there and they're making these little six by eight cottages out in the desert area and just giving them everything they have a bathroom they have a place to stay so they won't be on the streets that's Aquarius ascendant thinking or I mean Aquarius sign thinking for social welfare and social reform so Padha 3 is all about I'm gonna emotionally connect with you if you can help me with my agenda of changing uh, and doing something better in society so this is actually a very powerful Padha this Padha is able to look at things, extrapolate it, and improve it. So usually you will find these people in the field of science, in the field of non-profit organization. They will. And what happens is, um, these are perhaps the least emotionally um, advantage taker in this Padha. Because they're, like, I kind of like let you know in the beginning, they're like, look, my agenda is to simply change this society can you help me can we do this together so you know ahead of time that okay this this person has a mission to accomplish and perhaps maybe I can help them perhaps they'll mention me in their life but in the meantime you know it, it they, they have made things clear to me so in a way this is not one of those nakshatra that will come and have a relationship with you and kind of use your sources and then suddenly boom they're gone these are the people who told you ahead of time that look, this is what I am, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to accomplish. Are you with me or not? So um, they cannot like be blamed later on. And you will find this with this Padha. They're always are making clear to people as to what they want to accomplish, who they want, who they want to be with. So you're not left in like some emotional turmoil once they leave. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of moon in the sign of cancer in a nakshatra of Ashlesha, yet Pada 3 of this nakshatra. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your moon is placed, what nakshatra it's in, what Pada it's in, for that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report, including all my books and consultation. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with Pada 4. Bye-bye.